Hi, Tom here, and in this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'm going to show you one way to draw a house in two-point perspective, and then we can add a sailing boat in the foreground at the end. In this drawing, I use a 4B pencil. I'll draw the house quite small in relation to the whole of the drawing, as I want some space for the boat in the foreground, and some water and a big sky in the background too. For perspective drawing, we start with drawing a horizontal straight line, and on this line we can draw a cross at each end, and these crosses will be the vanishing points. These are the points where parallel lines will look like they meet if they kept going in those directions, left and right. Next, we can draw a vertical line to the left of the centre of our page, and this will be the nearest corner of our house. Now we need a diagonal line going to the right vanishing point, and another diagonal line going to the left. Next, draw a vertical line for the edge of the house on the left, where it stops on the left. And then another vertical line on the right for the edge of the house on the right. Now we can add another diagonal line to the left and also to the right for the top of the roof. If you find the halfway point on the left hand side here, we can use this for the top point of the roof and we can draw two lines to make a triangle. Also from this point we can draw a diagonal for the top of the roof going all the way to the right vanishing point. Next we can draw a line on the right. Just copy the line on the right of the triangle of the roof to the far right of the roof on the right. Now, at the front of the house, we can draw a vertical line towards the right. I want this to be the wall, a wall that comes forward. So using the vanishing point on the left, we can extend the top of this vertical line going right just a little bit. Now we can draw another vertical line to show where this narrow wall, as it were, stops. And then from the top of this new vertical line, we can draw a diagonal line to the vanishing point on the right. Next, just add one more line to make it into an extended porch. Now find the middle and draw a line at the middle point. Then using the top diagonal line that we have, for the very top point of the roof, we can draw a triangle for the new roof on the right. From the top of the triangle of the roof, we can draw a diagonal line to the left vanishing point for this top bit of the roof. Now where these two lines meet, where these two roof lines meet, we can draw a short line to the top corner of the porch. Now I think it's time to erase some of the guidelines that we no longer need. Next, using the vanishing point on the right, for the right hand side of the house, we can draw a front door and a tall window directly above it. All of the horizontal lines on the right hand side of the house will go, if they were to continue, all the way to the vanishing point on the right. So as you draw, you could darken the lines that you need so that the guidelines that we're drawing are not quite as dark as the main lines that we want to keep for the house. Now where the wall goes left, rather than right, where it goes left, we need to start using the vanishing point on the left. But then the wall goes towards the right again, so when it goes towards the right, we need to use the right vanishing point. In this way, we can draw a horizontal line that sort of wraps around the house at the same height as the front door using the right vanishing point when the wall is going towards the right. But when the wall changes direction and goes towards the left, then we use the left vanishing point. So in this way, by using both vanishing points, the right vanishing point and the left vanishing point, we can draw a house in two point perspective. All of the vertical lines need to stay vertical because they aren't foreshortened by perspective. 
but the lines on the left and the right will always be. I find it easier if the windows, when you draw the windows, if the windows are in rows and columns, then we can sort of use the same guidelines for several windows and all of the verticals, the upright lines, will stay parallel to each other but also just check that they're parallel to the edge of the paper that you're drawing on because otherwise it's quite easy to make the vertical lines not quite straight. They can start to lean to the side, particularly if you're drawing at an angle to your piece of paper. Now we have a house in two-point perspective, we can draw a boat in the foreground. We're looking at the house from a low angle, so we're looking at the boat directly across. Draw a line for the mast of the boat 
and from this line we can draw the main sail. I'll use a curved line on the right. We could draw a smaller sail to the left of the mast, again using a curved line on the right hand side. Next we could add another line to the mast to make it look more solid. Now the top of the boat is just a line but it needs to be at right angles to the mast. And then we can just draw a wavy line for the line of the water and then the short line at the back of the boat for the back of the boat. Again we can give the boat a thickness and maybe even add a few people to the boat. These people can just be very simple sketches, there's no need for any detail at all. We can just block the people in. Now the house needs a wall or something to show that it's on some land. So let's just draw some horizontal lines for the edge of the land. And then a wavy line below those for the top of the sea. We can now erase the lines in the cells that we no longer need. We don't need any of the guidelines in the drawing anymore. Next, using the side of a pencil, we can add some tonal value to the sails, giving them a mid-tone. And we can make this as soft as possible. You can do that by using the side of an eraser just to smudge them or maybe your finger. We could also add some tone to the boat and to the figures. Inside the boat I think I'll make that darker and the side of the mast We could tidy up the sharp edges of the sails to make them nice and crisp. And then a darker line on the base of the boat. I believe a patch for a highlight towards the front of the boat. Once the boat is OK, we could darken the land with a tone or two. I think I'll use a dark tone. And now we can just draw some looser marks to indicate the waves around the boat and the sea. And then I'll just add a few simple clouds to the sky.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please visit my website, circlineartschool.com, to learn more. I post a new drawing every Saturday. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, to stay up to date with all of my art videos. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.